everyone welcome back to another episode of green life garden and home diy channel so right quickly i wanted to show you guys um my okra leaf smoothie i have actually taken everything off the plate because i was using a new camera today i wasn't certain that the video footage was picked up so i'm trying to like go back over it again just in case i lost it before i do what i do anyway i've got my leaves in there i've got some cubes that you see look like marshmallows that are actually coconut milk that I froze in the miniature trays. I'm going to use almond milk to help make up for um, the liquid that I need and some almond butter, which is I'm not representing this brand in particular, first time using it, um, because almond tend not to overpower everything. And I'm going to sweeten it with my Swerve Brown Sugar Sweetener because I am trying to stay away from so many uh, sugars. And I uh, just wanted to introduce you to coconut butter, not oil. And that is something really good you could use. But that coconut butter, it is so good. You can eat it by itself. And it will overpower your smoothie if you're trying to taste something in particular. Uh, you know, you, you probably want to go with almond. Uh, even peanut butter has a tendency to overpower things. So we know that okra leaves are high in magnesium and other... Uh, cancer fighting properties and antioxidants and all of these different things that are great for us and so um they like any like some other greens can be high in oxalate so if, you know if you have kidney stones really bad you may want to cook them first but for the most part i am on an okra spree just learning all sorts of things about the okra plant and wanted to share it with you all today i'll show you what my smoothie looks like once i get it all blended up <music> 